It all started with this thing. Seriously. <laughs> So to start off and make it clear, this is a complete and utter rant video and nothing more. I really just want BT to stop the crap, so if you don't want to listen, you know, to me basically ranting at BT for the next five minutes, then please check out some of our other content. Now, what really, really annoyed me about BT this week is the fact that they injected code into standard HTTP traffic with this Are you keeping your family safe online pop-up? Now, the problem is that it's not even a pop-up. This is what the page should have looked like. I was going to Ubuntu.com to try and download uh, an uh, ISO of Ubuntu so that I could uh, play around in a virtual machine. Nothing too, you know, strenuous. I just wanted the page and just wanted to download it. But no, this page came up and this seriously annoyed me. Now, the problem with this is that they're actually, the router itself, the router at router level, they're taking the traffic that's coming in, they're opening up the packets, they're injecting their own code into the websites, closing the packets up and sending them back in. Now, the problem with that is that if you did that with actual mail, like post, that would be illegal. That's like the Royal Mail taking a letter that you send to someone and then opening it up, putting a leaflet for the Royal Mail in, taping it back up and throwing it through your door. I think you'll find that's illegal. Now, when you hit the OK, I want, I don't care about you paid button, the no thanks button there, it takes you to a, you know, ambiguous sorry we couldn't help you here page and then when I hit back to go back to the Ubuntu.com page the same pop-up popped up again I've already said no I don't want to have to say no again and then take to take me to this page again. It actually took me to the page and fe effectively deleted the history and then when I hit that close button it just came up with a new tab. How useful is that? Oh wait, it's not. And the worst part is the only way to get rid of this little pop-up is either to say yes please and then spend 20 minutes setting up parental controls, which I don't want to do because there's no teenager, you know, there's no one under 18 besides me in my house and I'm the smartest one for technology in my house, so seriously. And then <laughs> after I tried again and, you know, clicked the visit parental controls information website, it came up again and then the worst part was I couldn't even click no thanks, it just came up with non-proxy. Seriously, what the hell? And the, the worst part is, if you actually want to get rid of it, and you don't want to sit through 20 minutes of trying to set it up, you can finally find your way to right click, and then inspect element and delete that code. That is literally the only way to get rid of it. The biggest, biggest, biggest thing is that it's only on HTTP traffic. I went to YouTube, as you'll see in a second, and it just, it nothing happened because it's HTTPS. If you use HTTPS everywhere, it won't you know, it won't be an issue. And then when I turned to the router to try and turn this off, the BC access control thing was turned off, and there is nothing in the router about parent controls at all. I literally searched for 20 minutes through my router software to try and freaking find something out. Which just annoys me to hell more, because then they tout IPv6 in the router in two different locations, and then it just says disabled. I've called up BT three times about it, and it took me three times to get a freaking straight answer in the, oh, your network doesn't support it. Well, it does support it, because it's a simple turn on in a Cisco router, for fuck's sake. I mean, if, you, if they enabled IPv6, they wouldn't be able to do this. This should be illegal, considering it's illegal in normal post. So if it's illegal there, it should be illegal in the internet. Anyway, thanks for watching this ranty-ass video. Um, I'm sorry that I show so much, but I really, really hate this. This really, really annoys me. So yeah, I'm sorry about that. But anyway, like if you like it, dislike if you dislike it. If you don't want to see any, any more of these rant videos, then feel free to leave that in the comments. Um, or if you've seen this with BT, or you've just been so annoyed with BT for some other reason, then feel free to leave that in the comments as well. Anyway, thanks for watching this video and we'll see you on the next one. So thanks for watching this Tech Team GB video. You've probably seen enough of me already, so I'm going to go away. Right after I say, if you haven't already like or dislike, just let us know why in the comments down below as well. Um, check out some of our other videos, hopefully there'll be some somewhere around me. And then also, um, feel free to subscribe as well, that really helps us out, um, and yeah, obviously shows companies that you love us. So if you do love us, check us out on Facebook or Twitter, hopefully there will also be some stuff around here maybe. Um, but otherwise, that's pretty much it from me, so we'll see you all in the next video.